one lucky nonprofit in our area. They are about to get $35,000. NBC 10, Telemundo 62, and the Philadelphia Inquirer and Citizens were all proud to present the winner of the next Champions in Action Award. And for that, we go to NBC 10's Rosemary Connors, live in North Philly, to tell us much more and also to introduce us to the winner. Hey, Rosemary. Hey, yeah, the winner is Treehouse Books. This place is awesome. It's a nonprofit right on Susquehanna Avenue in North Philly. They do such great work in the community, free literacy programs, free access to books, you name it, they got it. Let me bring out their executive director. Again, we have a very special surprise for them. They don't quite know what's happening, but we'll bring them out and we'll, we'll let them in on the secret. Hey, Michael, can you come on out here? And you got some of, the, some of your, uh, your students with you, some of your staff. Hey, guys, come on out. Come on out, guys. Don't be shy. We got a big surprise. Come right on in here. Yeah. So we are here. We are live on TV and online. My name is NBC 10's Rosemary Connors, and we are here to tell you the Treehouse Books is getting a special recognition today. You are our champion in action. And I'm going to pass the mic over to my boss, the president and general manager of NBC10 and Telemundo 62, Rick Harris. Rick, you want to spread the good news? Yes, thank you, Rosemary. Hi, guys. How you doing? Hi. So when I walked in, I noticed you all reading and, you know, engaged in learning. Is that right? Yes. Well, we're going to help you out with that. As Rosemary pointed out, you are a champion in action, Treehouse Books. We have $35,000 in unrestricted funds for Treehouse Books. Clap with that one, right? You also have media and promotional support from our television stations, NBC10 and Telemundo 60, those, as well as media coverage from the Philadelphia Inquirer. So it's all about raising awareness. It's all in support of the great work that you all do, but it all starts with reading and writing and thinking. That's how you become a successful person, and that's how we help raise and lift a neighborhood. So I'm going to bring my friends in. Rhonda's here. She's going to talk to you a little bit uh, about what's going on here today, but I couldn't be more proud to share this moment with you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So my name is Rhonda Bettis. I am with Citizens, and I am the retail director for the greater Philadelphia area. And I am just so thrilled for us to be here with you, giving you $35,000, as Rick said, in unrestricted funds. Citizens has been committed to making a difference in our community. It is important to us. We have colleagues that live in this community. We have folks that were raised like little kids just like you. I think about myself, who's been an avid reader all my life. The potential is just unbelievable. What you can become, what you can dream up, you can become. So, Michael, the work that you're doing here with this team, with these lovely little kids here, it is phenomenal. I hope that the money helps you achieve your, your objective. I hope with this $35,000, you can create even greater programs so you have more little ones that you can support. This is just amazing, the difference you're making in the lives of your community, and we thank you for that. Thank you, so thank so you, guys. Yeah. All right. All right. Rhonda Bettis with Citizens. Then you heard from our boss, Rick Harris, with NBC10 and Telemundo 62. And I got yeah. Michael Bricks, the executive director of Treehouse Books here in North go. Philly. So first of all, talk to us about your reaction and what this means to your organization. Yeah, it's awesome. It's amazing just to hear, you know, everyone talking about, like, what this is and having and and actually set our mission our mission is to raise a community of readers writers and thinkers like that's what we that's what we do here at treehouse books and we've been doing it since 2005 this is just an absolute amazing thing so we're so thankful for citizens and we're thankful for nbc 10 being out here um, for this award it's been super great uh we're actually um you know right now in the process of growing out of our space we've been here since 2005 and we have waiting lists for all of our uh, literacy programs and so uh, this money is actually going to be really helpful to us as we start looking to the next thing. We're committed to staying here in this neighborhood. We're going to keep this store, and we're actually looking for space that we can have so that our kids can have bigger space to run and play and learn and continue to read and grow as learners in this community. So we're so thankful to everyone for that. And for people who may not have stopped by Treehouse Bookstore on Susquehanna Avenue in North Philly, what, what kind of experience do they get when they walk in the door? 
Yeah, they're going to see a bookstore that's set up, except that all the books are free. So they can take a book off the shelves, they can bring it home, they can add it to their own home library. Um, and, and then if they go to the other side, they'll see our amazing literacy programming. And our literacy programming is really the heart of what we do. That's when we're making those one-on-one uh, -on -one impacts with kids and we're uh, investing in their lives as they grow. And we're with them when they're young and we're with them until they grow older. So. And, and as you said, I mean, part of the reason why we ended up coming out here is because you see we got a nice big crowd with us and it's a very quaint very cozy very comfortable bookshop but as you said you're you are looking to expand because of all the great programming you do yeah absolutely and we can ask everyone who's watching to help us out in that you know you can go to our website treehousebooks.org or you can even come down and visit us here at 1430 west Susquehanna all right he, he put it all out there all right Michael Bricks we really appreciate you taking the time real quickly kids what, what I got like a minute left they're giving me a minute so I'm gonna take it how how, how are you reacting to this? What do you think about all this? I think this is really amazing and like it's a great opportunity for us. What's what's this place mean to you? When you come down here, how does it make you feel? Great. It's a community. People come down here, love, laugh, be together. La oh, are you shy? Are you the shy one in the group? Should I stay away from you? I'll stay away from you. I'm going to your friend. All right. And talk to me about it. You bring all your friends here. All your friends come down here. Is this a great place to hang out in the summertime and after school? Yes, it's very fun. Miss Sabria here. She's a great person. Help me read sometimes, stuff like that. I think I got like 10 seconds, so they're giving you a shout. So they say you're a great teacher, you're a great uh, mentor. Mm -hmm. well, you know, seeing these kids come in and seeing them learn, seeing them learn how to read, seeing them expand their reading, what kind of impact does that have on you? Um, it means kind of giving back as a Sankofa moment in the, in the, in the moment. Um, it also means kind of like paying forward to the future. Um, and they are a wonderful group of kids. They're representing a bunch of others who are inside enjoying their, their activities. Um, but I think what's really important is that they learn that not only community resources through monetary reasons are good, but also community resources that come in the, the form of action and social justice. Pe people being there. All right, we appreciate the work that all you guys are doing. Again, $35,000. You got support from NBC10, Telemundo 62, and The Inquirer, and of course, 35000 from Citizens. Lucy, I know I'm over on time, so I'm going to send it back to you in the studio.